guys and welcome back to my channel my name is johanna for those of you who are new here welcome for those of you who are returning welcome back a great big shout out to my channel members for supporting my channel thank you All right, I'm hoping this is gonna be a short video just because I've been talking for a while now. I filmed some other videos and my throat is a bit sore. So it's right before dinner, Sunday night, at least it's not 10 o'clock, uh, it's like six. <laughs> and so we're just gonna throw something together for my upcoming work week. I did uh, split this out uh, how I usually do. So my completed tasks here, I'll write down what's being offered in the cafeteria as well as what I'll actually eat for lunch. This is an open section. I've got open sections here. And then this is where I will pull uh, a tarot card every single day. I'll do a tarot card actually later on tonight, uh, just to give me sort of something to think about uh, as I'm coming into a new work week. This is my Hobonichi Weeks One Piece Everyday Carry. Uh, this is in the English edition and I do keep it in my Moterm cover, but when I'm doing setup with you guys, or even if I'm doing setup by myself, I do prefer to take it out of the cover. Although while I'm working on it during the week, I do keep it in here. All right, I think that's all caught up for now. I decided to go with some blues. I have these uh, little sticker booklets. If you're interested, just let me know and I can see if I can find an affiliate link for you. And I'm just going to come through here and just pick some blue ones. And I don't know if this is going to be a decorative only spread or if there's going to be some function, but if it is going to be functional, there's actually a way I can bring that in. Okay, definitely a cloud theme <laughs> this week. So let me see. we can bring some interest because this actually is taken and so should we just do blues all right let me just flip through here once more I'll see now that's interesting no 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 We've got a theme Johanna that's water, that's not clouds. Okay, I think we're gonna go with these right here. Like that. So they are washi stickers, they are very thin. So I'm gonna take these off, put them down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have those down and let's turn this into something a little functional. So I used this last week. This is my colorful boxes. I believe this was the very first one. I don't even know if this is still available. Um, I've, I've had it in my stash, but let's get to the blue section. And let's bring some of this in. So we don't want to necessarily get rid of all of that surface area. And if you can tell, um, I don't know how it's showing on camera, but you can still see the grid lines behind it. So it's a very thin sticker. And so we can do our thoughts and the word and the quote. So do we add another sticker and then another label going that way? I mean, we're kind of covering a lot of this. Let's just put a sticker. <laughs> when in doubt, put a sticker. Uh, does it bother me that I have got two of the same stickers? Um, apparently it does. <laughs> So we're going to go for purple. Okay, so again, trying to 
just give us more writing space really because this means something right here and then here because it says moon street and i kind of like that so i don't want to necessarily cover that over And so let's bring some of that purple onto this side right here. Okay, so we've got the deco down. And this means something, as does this. All right, so off camera, I used uh, my Tombow water-based marker 452 to add in some things. This is where I'm going to write in the actual tarot card that I pull and then a little bit of a definition of what that means. At the end of the week, I'll do a little bit of a mood tracker. I always use my uh, stencil that I was given by my friend Christy Marie Designs. I always have her shop linked below. I did not realize I only ever have three boxes, not four. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. And so I've got a miscellaneous box right there. Uh, later on tonight, before I put this back in my work bag, I will just do a tarot pull and I'll just think about what should I expect uh, for this week? What should I think about this week? I do like to put the full work week on the page. So I put it up there because it usually goes down here, but I took up the space. And I will write down my completed tasks here. Breakfast, lunch, offered in the cafeteria, and what I actually eat um, for lunch highlighted in blue, uh, notes to remember for the next work week. And I've yet to be approved for some additional overtime, but if I am and I work Saturday or Sunday, then I'll write down what I've actually completed there. A very pretty spread, quite quick. Um, uh, I didn't really have to, well, I did a little bit of finagling. <laughs> it was just really because I didn't want to cover things up and whatnot, but uh, hopefully uh, not too long for you guys. And all of that uh, inking I actually did off camera. But for last week, this is where I noticed, oh, wait, I only have a word of the week, quote and thoughts. I, for whatever reason, I thought I had four little sections, but I don't, so whatever. Uh, the word of the week was foible and that means minor flaws or shortcomings of character uh, when used in fencing the little sword fight thingies it refers to the part of the sword between the middle and the point which is the weakest point and the quote uh, that i wrote down is my sarcasm and my sincerity sound surprisingly similar <laughs> it was actually quite a good week by way of productivity as well as how I was feeling um, and I do like the whole black red and orange kind of look very similar um, by way of what I used but it does give uh, quite a different feel and blues are generally calming colors anyway and then you've got the clouds and so yeah it'll be interesting what it looks like I did use a Muji pen for this week. And while I like the Muji pen, I don't know if it's just this paper, but sometimes it would flow really nicely and sometimes it wouldn't. This is all the same pen, but you got a difference in ink, inkiness because of the flow. So I will be going back to working with my Energel needle tip in point three, because that's what I generally use, uh, so that it the ink volume i can't think of another way to say that um remains the same because that actually kind of bothers me that it isn't the same weight of ink even though it's the same pen for the entire week and live and you learn all right guys well i will end the video like i do with what i've eaten for that previous work week and as always a lot hi guys lunch for today monday april 10th is a corn chowder from 7-eleven just reheated that and we had ham for easter so ham will be featured for a few meals this week because i brought some from home i also brought some bread and some english muffins so that also be featured this week or i'll have it for breakfast it's ham mayonnaise mustard and bread 
that's lunch for today i have got that with water and then for breakfast i had a tuna sandwich from 7 11 yeah very sandwich heavy day anyway that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys lunch for today tuesday april 11th is hamburger curry a uh, hopper rice and corn from our cafeteria I actually have some leftover ham but I can't pass up curry. Uh, breakfast, I had some toast that I made here and a boiled egg from Easter. Uh, I had coffee mid-morning and then water is my beverage of choice. Well, actually, I had like a soda, but the bubbles hurt my stomach. <laughs> anyway, that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, April 12th, is a somen salad from 7-Eleven. I decided to go there uh, this morning. Uh, for breakfast, I had a bento from 7-eleven but i didn't film it and then i have um ham leftover still pineapple and an english muffin that i've toasted um and all of that is from home i have that with a little bit of butter and mustard i actually prefer it with mayonnaise but i didn't grab that from the fridge <laughs> so i'm just eating whatever um i had coffee mid-morning and then of course i drink water with all of this all right well that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys lunch for today thursday april 13th is a breakfast bento that i bought yesterday so this is a, a hawaiian red hot dog i know that they have them in asian cultures i don't know that i've ever seen it in like mainland america it's a very distinct taste. <laughs> I don't know what it's made of, but it's a hot dog, so I don't know that I want to know. Uh, spam, a sweet egg roll. I kept this cold, microwaved everything else. A piece of daikon and fish cake. Uh, there's rice with photokaki on it. I'll probably add a little bit more photokaki to it. I'll have this with water. Breakfast, I had the same as I had for lunch yesterday, so English muffin and ham, and it was actually delightful uh, with water and then coffee midday that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow. hey guys lunch for today friday april 14th is a udon noodle soup bowl and i added some green onions it's actually cooking right now and then a spam musubi i picked up from 7-eleven a couple of days ago breakfast i had uh some biscuits and sausage we had popeyes last night so i just brought biscuits and we had sausage in the fridge breakfast sausage patties I had it with water, lunch with water, and then coffee midday. That's it for this week. Hope you had or have a great weekend. Happy Aloha Friday.